here we've got City of Tears. This is Aberdeen Model Railway Club's entry into the final of the Great British Model Railway Challenge. And this was the, the one that actually won. So, as you can see, it's very futuristic and very different, which is part of the whole ethos of this, this challenge, was trying to make it look something a bit different to your normal model layouts, but obviously under a time constraint. So you've got a lot of different things on here from Thunderbird-esque models up at the top to the lava lamp and everything. But there's some recognisable things with like the small figures here, which are track workers, but you repurposed for this. And you've also got the two levels with a lower level down below. You've got a Scott Rail Class 150 just in the, uh, in the bottom there. So it's something a bit different, but still using a lot of the same techniques as you'd use on a normal model railway. So here we have Bridgewater. It's a Somerset and Dorset joint railway layout set in 1904. It's pretty typical of an Edgewardian terminus station out in the rural countryside. Nice small station, you've got a good yard towards the back to serve all the local industry as well as the local passengers. And down the far end you can see Shunting, small 240 loco with a, a small goods train. It's been formed in the goods yard and it's just been run round to go out into the main line. It's in O gauge and, and it's a very, very nicely built layout. So this is Rockfield Road from Inverness and District Model Railway Club. Uh, it's an N gauge layout set in the modern day and it represents a nice main line coming through with some sidings at the back. And as you can see, we've got a Stobart Rail 66 on an oil train coming through. There's a Class 37 on a test train just there and in the background we've also got some auto balusters and a railway technical center 24 on a slow plow and also any fans of are you being served we have grace brothers store sitting at the back there on the road a lot of little layouts have some of these cameos so it's always nice to have a look not just at the trains but also at the scenery on these layouts just to find these little fun these funny little touches that people put onto them to cause a little bit of interest so we've seen some really big layouts but there's also some really, really small layouts at the show as well here. This is Linebrook Yard, set in the late 1970s in North Staffordshire. And it shows a small yard, typical of that was still around in the late 70s, even after the beaching cuts, with a small local um, pa passenger station as well. There's a lot of detail crammed into this very small space with even some blocks of flats uh, and a small road at the back here. There's plenty of small details to keep you interested, even though it's only a very, very compact layout. So this is Gildale. It's a layout set in the late 1920s, early 1930s in the North Riding of Yorkshire, but somewhere between Whitby and Scarborough. It's a narrow gauge layout. All the, all the ones we've seen so far have been in full, full gauge. This is narrow gauge, it's 009, and it's based on just a small um, cliff railway and, and coastal railway around North, North Yorkshire. It's got a lot of lovely things, scenery around the bottom here. You've got a nice harbour scene and a river. It's done very, very nicely, and it just shows all the different industries that would have used a narrow gauge railway, where a large, a full gauge railway was just that little bit too big to serve the industries.